Let's move like nobody's watching. Till I made, till you made. Only one way to celebrate. Switch off, switch off, one option. Let's dance like nobody's watching. I saw you fall. Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Oakland Athletics taking on the New York Yankees. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Aaron Judge. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Just about to get underway and taking the ball for the Yankees, Luis Heal. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, an incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Righty to the plate. And a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Nevin batting second in today's lineup. A former first round pick back in 2015. Go back to 
upstairs. The pitch. That one ripped. And there's a hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. J.J. Bladey. This is J.J. Bladey. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Deep drive down the line. Foul ball. And a 1-1. And that one off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. misses and the count's full Boom. he never moved because he never had time to with that kind of velocity you'd prefer that pitcher work away payoff pitch smoke to right but he's got it the throw home and he's in there as they jump ahead and run scores. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag to tag takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. Here's a big power threat. Brent Rooker. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. Swing and a bouncer. In plenty of time to first and two away now. And time now to check out the A's lineup. And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a guy to go up there and grind out and at bat, maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden, guys get fired up in the dugout, and they want to do the same thing. And before you know it, you start to get base runners on. Here's a rocket out to left. Plays it on a bounce, and it eats him up. The throw into second. The tag, and he's out. But a run does score on the air. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the A's two, and the Yankees nothing. Back in the Bronx, and today on the hill, Alex Wood. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. No, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Throws to second. Not going to hey. get him. He's in there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Juan Soto. Swing and a miss. Oh one.
And the pitch. That's a strike. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. That is good. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. So here Four. in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, One low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Kicks and fires. And Judge spoils that one. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Volpe stands at third with one gone in the inning. Two, two. This one in the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Oh. Swing and a miss struck him out. Batting four. And now it's John Carlos Stanton. John Carlos Stanton. Off no, the that's mark a ball. there. And that's ball one. Rudder at third, two away. Three. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. In comes the run from third. It's 2 1. Picks himself up at RBI. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Runner at first with two away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First pitch misses. Two outs. Now one and one. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. A couple of singles back to back. That's Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here comes Glaber Torres. That one down the line wow. and foul ball. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two on, two outs. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. Great effort on the leaping grab. Well, that one had extra bases written all over it. Not today, he said. Left his feet up in the air. Just a beautiful catch to end the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium, top of the second, stepping in, J.D. Davis. Davis. Why the kick the pitch? Swing better. 
That ball. one inside. And that is ball one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Next offering is foul back. Struck him out swinging. Gassed it right by him. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. And yeah, that's outside. And it's one, one to no. No strike. One out, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Jones should have this one. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Batting it. The shortstop. Matt. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop. Breaking no. ball inside. One and oh. And two. a good eye there. Two out spaces empty. And he hits a ground That's ball foul. right side, and it goes just foul. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Batting up, the third base hit. Digging Brett in for Oakland, Brett Harris. Harris. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. And one that's one. outside. A's leading by a run here at the top of the second. Next, Next pitch inside. misses Ball inside, two. and it's two and one. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around third. He'll score. It's 3-1. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So the lineup flips over. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Abraham Toro. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. No. Inside just missed. Man at second. Hook Swing ball. and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really Hook sells ball. the changeup with that arm action. Strike two. Man on second, two down. Ground ball to the right side. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. A's get one on the RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Show me what you work 
We head to the bottom of the second. John Birdie at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting something. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a throw, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Okay. And now let's see if they force okay. some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Jose Trevino. 1-0. Pitch out, but no action. Nobody out. Runner at first. Gets the outside corner with that one. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And Boogs, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. And another ball. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Ball and now three. it's filled up. Full count. And now the lefty. Liner, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back singles. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Jemai Jones. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Right through there for a strike. one that's a ball all right on the ground to first Nevin you over know. to second and two him, what a out. play for me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. No, that's, that's a ball. little bit low. One ball, no strike. On the ground to third. Jumps, throws, they get the out, and that'll do it. One left for the Yankees. Score holds, it's 3-1. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in for Oakland, Tyler Nevin. Tyler Nevin. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Ball. Just missed. You know, these oh, no. A's doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Two and one now. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one to first. He'll do it himself. Out. Lead off man retired here in the third. Good the fade and sinking three action three. of that changeup. Got that JJ hitter to roll over. Blade. J.J. Blade, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And strike two. two. No ball. Two strikes. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. One down. Base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now two gone. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Rooker in the box now. No balls and a strike. No balls. One strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Ball one, one there. Well, he's one, so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. Oakland goes quietly. And one, two, three go the A's. But they still lead it 3 1. Back here in New York, bottom of the inning. And now the DH, Juan Soto. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Pitch is in there, and it's one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Got him. One away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Judge, batting with one down, takes a strike. And ball one to Judge. Judge enjoyed success at the major league level right away. He hit 52 home runs as a rookie, breaking Mark McGuire's record and became the first Yankee to win Rookie of the Year since some guy named Derek Jeter. The wind and the pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batting, right fielder. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Bounce to the right, Nevin. To the shortstop at second, but it pulls him off the base. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. And here is Anthony Rizzo. 
That's in there. That's strike one. At the belt and fires. That's in there. That's strike two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. That one is absolutely belted. Could be extra bases. Here comes the judge around third. One runs in. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So two in scoring position with one out. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Just Ball, missed. The 1-0. -oh. On the ground to the left. Tosses across That's the first. Enough. And Glaber Torres retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And next for New York, John Birdie reached on an infield single his first time. No, Just missed. Ball. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Stan on third. Rizzo on at second with two down. Inside just missed. That one misses, and that's ball three. No strike. And there's the automatic. Laser could be extra bases. One runs in. Another comes in to score. It's 4-3. And that's a double. Oh, that's a big at bat coming through in the clutch to drive in a pair. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now, Jose Trevino. Hammer, base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Two outs, runner at first. Jemai Jones stepping in now for the Yankees. And that one ripped into right. And that's a fair ball. Trevino, round second on his way to third. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. Gone. A soaring shot to center. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 8-3.
And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Alex Wood is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher now, Joey Estes. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Base is empty with two away. Now it's the DH, Juan Soto. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Rooker sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. The final damage here, they bat around. Ten come to the plate, seven runs on the board. Three innings complete. It's the Yankees eight and the A's three. Back for more Leading from the, the Bronx. Athletic. Start of the fourth, the here's the speedy Shea. catcher, Shea Langoliers. Langoliers. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Gets down, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now it's J.D. Davis. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That's uh -huh. in there. Strike one. Get him up. And a pitch. One and that's one. outside. Langoliers aboard here at first with nobody out. Pop foul out of play off to the right. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Butler at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. one. Ball. No strike. Butler goes six feet, three inches, 23 years old. And he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2018. Ball that one two. outside, and yeah, that's ball two. two oh. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. One. Right hander kicks deals. Swung on, belted. Judge really on his horse for this one. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double took that decision out of the hands of the third base coach, didn't it? I mean, was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. Now it's the shortstop. Singleton scored his first time. Ball. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Two on, one out, and a foul ball. 
So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. And here it comes. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, and reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And the righty deals. The punch out there. That's out number two. Brett Harris up next for the A's. Doubled his first time up. And that's a little bit high. Ball one. one oh. Two outs. Two in scoring position. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That's back. And it's out of here. He leaves the yard to right. His fourth home run of the season. And they slice into the lead. It's 8-6. That swing just injected more drama into this one. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time, and it's true enough to stay fair. I mean, that's a good feeling when you can hit an opposite field home run, yeah. and he did it right there. Toro oh, wow. stands in here, tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Foul ball there. Already three runs across in the frame. Top half of inning number four. Got him. That ends the frame. A's draw closer on this homer. It's now 8-6. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now in the Bronx, ready to go, ready to go. bottom four. No Stepping in, the long ball threat, Aaron Judge. Judge. The wind of the pitch. That's Four. in there. That's strike one. You know, these Yankees putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They were obviously able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, ball. and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. One ball, one strike. The pitch. Now a pop up on the infield. Langoliers settles underneath it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. No. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. Ball. And another ball. Two ball, two strike. Good Go. eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a base hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there.
Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that should be extra bases. Stanton around second, headed for third. Coming home. The relay throw. The tag, and he's safe. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And it's second with one away. Glaber Torres digs in now. That one's yep. in there. It's 0-1. Good take by Torres. One more. Man at second. Rip to third. Throw on to Nevin. Ow. And Glaber Torres retired. Fastball the move right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And stepping in is the speedy John Birdie. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. And ball one. Rizzo stands at second with two gone. Swings and misses at the pitch One off ball. the plate. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Two outs. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. It's now 9-6. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Tyler Nevin. Heel back to work. Right through there for a strike. You know, these athletics no digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90 plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. Going two now. Ball. Swing. And he grounds one to the right side. Torres fires over to first. One away here in the fifth. Now batting the center fielder, J.J. Blade. And now the center fielder, J.J. Blade. He's 0 for 1. Let's go, New York. That one fouled off. The Athletics trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and one. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck. That's back there. Forget it. An absolute smash to left. His second home run of the series, and they're chipping away. It's 9 7. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Thank you. 
Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Luis Heal won't go any further, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. A now new pitcher in the game, the Clark game. Schmidt. And he's Number been really shutting down hitters from the right Whoa. side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Here's the Oakland cleanup hitter, Brent Rooker. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Three. Gonna count one and two. And that's just foul. These hitters like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Good eye in that spot. Look out. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Judge is under it. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, the catcher. Shay. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Here's a strike. Oh one. Swing and a miss. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. Two down, nobody on. Well struck right field. That one carrying. And that is gone. That one felt good. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 9-8. That fastball wasn't even in the zone, and he was still able to hit it out. Wow. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Now it's J.D. Davis. No, that's and a good eye there. That one finds the zone and a count one and one. And it skips in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. Full count. Righty to the plate. The right-hander oh, gives Take up the two-out walk. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Ground ball base now. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First and second, two down. Here's the shortstop at the play. One for two. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Pitch no. misses there, and that's ball one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Two on, two outs. Sliced hard, but foul. Two outs. Rip, but it curls foul. Way outside, and it's two and two. First and second, two down. And the right hander deals. Ball. And another ball. So oh, both yeah. runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. Three, two. Hard hit left side. Throw on to Rizzo. Yeah. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 9 8 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. And the right hander back to work. Ground ball left side. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got, got the hitter Let out front, you. rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Jamai Jones will hit next. First offering, and it just misses. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Lucas Airsay getting loose out there. Adams getting loose as well. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And it's off the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot, according to StatCast. The exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He's already homered in this game. And that's ripped in the left, base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Now back the deputy. Oh. And now it's Juan Soto. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Oh. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two on, one out. That's Just missed. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. 2 0. On the ground, a second might be two. There's That's one. Up. On to Nevin. Out. That's two. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and one left on. We're through five. The Yankees nine and the A's eight.
Look at me, look at me, not measuring up. Now the third baseman, Brett Harris. He really made his presence felt back in the fourth inning of this one, Singy. Absolutely. Three-run blast and a shot of energy for his teammates. Everyone in that dugout was pretty fired up. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Ian Hamilton getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Gonzalez, the lefty, warming up as well. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. The 2-2 two -two on the way. To third. Birdie fires yeah. over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Next up for the A's, Abraham Toro. One for three. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. The A's down by a run, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Smoked on the ground a second. Torres over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Up next to Oakland, the first baseman, Tyler. Digging in for Oakland, Tyler Nevin. No, Just missed. That Two one way outside. Two and oh. Ball Misses three. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And that's ball, ball four. four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Slap the other way, foul. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. The Yankees 9 and the A's 8. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Lucas Ersic. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. Yeah, the hard-throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a poke Yankee lineup, and it starts with Aaron Judge. And a pitch. That's inside. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. No. Just missed. That one's spoiled, and... The count now two and one. On, and three. another ball. Three balls, one strike. Ooh. 
Right side, hard hit. And he takes it himself out. for the out. Up next for the Yankees. The right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Outside corner, there's a strike. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Michael Kelly, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Next offering upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Focus. Wouldn't chase that time. You won. The count two and one. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And downstairs. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. First offering, runner goes. Hit hard, that gets through. Stanton routes second, heads for third. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres. First pitch swinging. No ball. One strike. One one. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Kind of obvious to say, Boo, but when you've got a runner on third, you've got to catch the baseball behind the dig. I don't know if he was crossed up a bit on that one or what, but that's just a gift run right there. Rizzo takes his lead at third with one away. And a ground ball to first, and he handles He's it himself out. for the out. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground down. And stepping in for the Yankees, John Birdie. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Two outs. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Langoliers drifts towards it, and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We're through six full. It's the Yankees 10 and the A's 8. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ian Hamilton. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Brent Rooker now at the plate. The pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Right-handed reliever up the middle. Torres slings the first. Out. That's the first out. The top of the seventh. Now batting the catcher, Shea Shea Langoliers. Langoliers. The next to hit three for three, two singles and a homer. Hamilton, six-one righty, two hundred pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. 
ball. That's off the mark, and it's one to no. One ball, no strike. Kicks and fires. And ball another two. ball. Two ball, no strike. And a pitch. That ah. one finds the zone. And a count two and one. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Slider misses outside. The Athletics trailing by two here in the top half of inning number seven. Make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Next is the designated hitter, J.D. Davis. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Two down, nobody on. Bounce to the left side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and he's on it first. Up next to Oakland, the right fielder, Lauren. Caleb Ferguson gets the call from the pen. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So digging in, Lawrence Butler. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Side. That misses, and the count's even at two. Tying run at the plate. Gets a piece and stays alive. And he deals. And that just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The tying run at the plate. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. This to third, birdie. Fires across the diamond. That's the third out. One left for Oakland. Can't cut in to a 10-8 deficit. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Austin Adams. Austin Adams. 
Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The 1-0. Really good oh. athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Jemai Jones stepping in now for the Yankees. Drove it off the wall last time. Just missed out on a home run. Fouled off. He was late. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. At the belt and fires. Ground ball left side could be two. Quick that feed is. to second for one. On to Nevin. You're That's up. two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took care of business. Pretty textbook execution between short and second to turn that into two outs. Now a chance for Anthony Volpe, looking to do more of what he did back in the third. No doubt, that three-run homer is a huge reason why they're in a good spot right now in this ball game, and important swing of the bat. Just no. off the outside edge. One ball, one and no strike. Late on that fastball. One ball, it might be time strike. to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Yankees 10 and the A's 8. Back in the Bronx. Now it's the shortstop, number 12. The pitch. The shortstop takes a ball. The lefty, the 1 0. Ha! Late that time, and it's strike two. Good pitch right One there. Ball. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. The one-two. Wouldn't chase that time. Now a screamer into the outfield. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now down. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Brett Harris. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And that's outside. Ball two. And the pitch. That's a strike. Out to short, sneaks through, base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Up next for Oakland. And now the it's the switch hitting second baseman, Abraham, Abraham Toro. Toro. 
This one bashed to left center. On its way, and that one's out of here. A massive home run. And we're starting over. It's 10-10. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Tyler Nevin digs in now. This one smoked on its way out of here. That was blasted to the moon. And they rallied from five back. It's 11-10. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Number 50 taking over on the mound, and he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. One down. Next up for the A's, J.J. Bladé. First Whoa. offering misses badly for ball one. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey, kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London, Yankees and Red Sox of 2019? I think there were, were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? Oh. My scorecard was ugly for that series. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Victor Gonzalez, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Already three runs across in the frame, and we're in the top of the eighth. The one-two. That's and another ball. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens. So like it's just a mosaic over there. Yeah, I mean, I, I know you're always judging the different pens. Like, you know, I got the skinny scoring pen and then I have the red and then the black and then I got a highlighter. So there is a lot going on. Two two now. And that one hammered back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in at second with a one out double. Up next to open. So, man aboard. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Brent Rooker. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Their third home run of the inning, and they add to the lead. It's 13-10. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. So one out, nobody on. And now the catcher comes up to him. Shea Langoliers. 
And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And that one fouled off. a strikeout. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. J.D. Davis up next for the A's. Hot shot to third. Slings it across. Out and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Kyle Muller. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing the work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Watch Soto down. For the Yankees. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, trying to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man on base to start the inning. And now pick number 99, Aaron Judge, outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Judge rips that one. Butler ranging back. Caught just shy of the wall. The Yankees looking to rally. The bat, the right field. Judge Carlo. You're standing now. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Right through there for a strike. One one. That no, one inside, inside, and it's two and one. And there's a strike to Giancarlo Stanton. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. That oh. one misses. Ball three. Okay. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Payoff pitch. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed now, and walked the hitter. Base. Man, you got to challenge Anthony. the guy with the fastball. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Four for four, two doubles and two singles. And fouled off. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Just missed. With the tying run at the plate, here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. One, two. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Tying run at the plate. Ball two. 
way to lay off that pitch down. Left-hand hitter waits. In there! Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Here is Glaber Torres. 0 for 4 with three ground outs and a fly out. Edge of the zone for a strike. 0 and 1. That one catches the corner for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Ball, Next no. pitch just misses. Now one, one and two. two That's when you always want as a pitcher. Down at the knees, and it looks to me like he's barking. That's a strike. Doesn't change the call, but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit. Rip to short. They take the force out, and that will end the inning. No runs, a hit, two left. Ninth inning coming up. The A's are on top here, 13 to 10. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Victor Gonzalez. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now it's the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. A little surprised we don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. And here it comes. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a foul ball. Let's get a K. Come on. Next ball offering ball. is downstairs. The pitch. On the ground to third, and that one finds its way through. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Number 12 one in the box here no lets that one go for a ball. Here comes a pitch. The ball. shortstop takes the ball. Movement in the bullpen. Nick Birdie getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Ha. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. The 2 1. Ball three. 3 1. That one ripped left field. Out of here. So he goes yard to left. Third home run of the season. It's 15 10. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Digging in for Oakland, Brett Harris. 
And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Pitch misses. Ball one. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And that's a strikeout. Ed Drummond says he won around. Now it's the second baseman, Abraham Toro. A switch hitter batting right. In the air, center field. Judge getting an angle on it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. So up next, Tyler Nevin. That pitch in for a strike. Going one. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in here at the top of the ninth. To center and a base hit. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. So, two down. Here's the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. Fought off foul. Nevin off of first with two away. They say it went. No ball. Two strikes. Two outs. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And it falls. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back to back base hits. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Nick Birdie. He last pitched two days ago. Brent Rooker up next for the A's. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That misses, and that's ball one. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Around third. He will score. And it's now a six-run lead. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. So first and second with two outs. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. Got a good eye there. One ball, no strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Ball, Just no. missed. He was looking for some firewood right there. I tell you what, if you're not out in front, swing at that pitch, you'll be looking for a new bat.
Here's the strike. strikeout so they get three runs five hits no errors but two are left stranded bottom part of the order seven eight nine two up in inning number nine the A's lead it 16 to 10 back at Yankee Stadium so bottom of the ninth, and stepping in for the Yankees John Birdie Muller back to work And oh. foul ball. The 0 1. And that one hit to first. Oh. And it goes just foul. Oh. That's inside. Now what a two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Base hit, left center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Trevino in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Well struck left field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Birdie around third. The relay. Safe. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Jemai Jones stepping in now for the Yankees. Ball Just one. missed. Come now, here we go. And a pop up right side foul territory. Puts it away for the out and there's one down. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Anthony. So the batting order turns over. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Right through there for a strike. The shortstop takes a ball. The A's leading by five here in the last half of inning number nine. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One and two here. Ball. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. And they'll do it again. Here's a 2 2. Ball and there's three. a ball. Full count. One run across to the frame so far. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. pitch line drive and that's a base hitter to right 
Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. New pitcher on here, T.J. McFarland. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. Now the number two hitter, Juan Soto. And first offering is fouled off. That ball. one missed. Talk about the right one guy ball. at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Coming home. The throw in. But it's offline. He was all over that one. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. One away, runners at first and third. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. That's a little bit low. 1-0. Swing and a miss, strike one. one more. Volpe, the runner at third. Soto at first, one gone. And there's a rocket into the outfield. One run is in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. But a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep, infielders guarding the lines. Ball. First pitch misses. One ball. No strike. One down, runners at second and third. One oh, chase that time. Oh, an interesting situation. Right. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? Got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. Oh, and they're all loaded up. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted at first base with a quick free pass. On the pitch now for Oakland, Mason Miller. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Oh. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing oh. at one. That was straight queso right there. One out, base is full. Late swing, foul to the left. Right hander kicks deals. And yeah, that's too high. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. It's a really good take, knowing you got an opportunity to drive in a run here. Righty to the plate. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. 
No, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. So last chance for the Yankees. Glaber Torres stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Yeah. Base is loaded. Two down. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these. Base hit. One run is in. Here's the throw. Tag. Got him. And that's the ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, dude. They turned to him when they didn't have a lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. Tons of offense in this one. Oakland victorious. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chum. Thanks for joining us.